Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Yes, Flowers in the Attic was based on a story she heard when she was in the hospital for a spinal operation. Well, someone told it to her, yes. Finally, here is Andrew's pitch letter for the book, where she outlines that it is a fictionalized version of a true story. Point one eight January 2014. Let's help you make your mark. Lee Castile, 1965. Heaven Lee Castile is a 14-year-old girl living in poverty with her rather large and discontented family, in a shack in the hills of West Virginia. Her father, Luke, is still haunted by the memory of his beloved first wife who died giving birth to Heaven. Let's help you make your mark. Kathy marries Paul and has her second son, Bartholomew Scott Winslow Sheffield. However, Paul dies three years later and Kathy decides to return to Chris's side and live with him as his wife, realizing how much she truly loved him. Take our lead. Not only do Kathy and Chris never get over their attraction to each other, more on that later, but also, in Petals on the Wind, Kathy realizes she had miscarried a child and that it's not the progeny of her fiancé at the time. It would have been Chris's baby. So there's that. Kathy and Chris end up together. Point one April 2021. Take our lead. Suicide. Paul Sheffield, and bullied by the other students. When Kathy finds out, Carrie is returned home and attends a school closer to home. Carrie is then mentioned later, when she has a sweet fiancé boyfriend. When she finds out that he wants to be a minister, she commits suicide and is taken to the hospital. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.